uh, welcome guys. So uh, in this video, uh, I want to talk about uh, data sequence. Okay, so yeah, things I learned, uh, I, I learned the uh, algebraic topology uh, and I also learned some context matter physics. So I think, uh, I mean, no matter in the algebraic topology or algebraic geometry, then is that sequence is a powerful tool that uh, that you will uh, you you will always see, right? I mean, uh, even in the, in the algebraic topology or basically the abstract algebra, uh, these are good. These are all good reference. Basically, this pure time uh, grid abstract algebra. So I personally have this book. Uh, yeah. And if you are all uh, interested, that you can uh, go to check for a homology algebra, which is, which is a uh, uh, like the much uh, advanced uh, results. And then you can go to check the page, basically the homology uh, algebra study some general uh, diagram and uh, also a chain complex. Yeah, and uh, these are all the tools uh, which are commonly used in the uh, algebraic geometry and uh, algebraic topology and the basically context matter physics. Okay, so I want to uh, build the videos, introdu uh, introduce some basic idea of the is that sequence. So for my own purposes, and then I will give a lot of proof. And uh, hopefully this video uh, will continue uh, if I have time, okay? Yeah, so this is the first lecture. So first lecture, uh, or I should say the first note should be easy. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So the idea of the diagram chasing, uh, sorry, the idea of the is a sequence. The the okay. So let's talk about part. So usually in the mathematics that uh, if somebody write a diagram uh, or a chain, such that uh, you have this phi plus one phi i. Okay. So let's say so each m i. Uh, can be viewed as a, so usually we will use the module. Okay. So called module, basically it's R module. So commutative ring with the module structure. Uh, if you are not familiar with module, then you can you can uh, downgrade your MI to be abelian group. Okay, so abelian group basically is the Z module. So you just replace this R to be the integer. Okay, so if, if abelian group is not the, you, you don't know about abelian groups, and uh, maybe you should uh, maybe you should subscribe to my channel and leave the video. <laughs> okay, so uh, then you can view your MI as a vector space. If you're okay, if you are not still not familiar with the general vector space, then you can view this MI as a real uh, real Euclidean space or a complex Euclidean space. No. Okay. Uh, such that uh, phi i plus one phi i is zero. Uh, this is the uh, yeah. This is the just the usual notation. So from here, you know that uh, generally the so by de definition, right? If since you're phi plus one uh, composite phi i, so uh, who should tell you that the uh, who should tell you what? Who should tell you tell you that the image of phi i, uh, image of phi is basically uh, subsets of the of the kernel phi plus one. Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, the defin this is the usual diagram, right? But definition says that uh, if this if it, so if you have a sequence, uh, it's exact. Uh, that means uh, your image for each phi i. So for for each phi i, uh, image for each, uh, for each part will be the kernel. Right. So basically, which tell you just tell you that uh, uh, the 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 object which is sent to zero always come from the left. Yeah, just so, so just one sentence. Yeah, this is called is sequence. Okay. So let's uh yeah. So this is just definition. Right. Everything's trivial. Uh. Yeah, let's see. Okay, also, also uh, one important uh, theor theorem that I will not prove here because I prove it in the other video. Basically, it's, it's the the first the first isomorphism theorem of the module, which is really important in the in module. Suppose you have a module homomorphism or a group homomorphism. If you only view A B as a subgroup, abelian group, then uh, you have a result that uh, let's see. So A mo uh, modulo kernel phi. Well, isomorphic to image phi. So this is usual called the group isomorphism theorem or the first isomorphism theory in the module. Yeah, so this is all uh, uh, commonly used in the sequence. 
Okay, so let's see some uh, strange, uh, stupid example. So the three stupid example, uh, three stupid examples uh, which people uh, like to talk. So the first is that uh, you get some A, B, right, and at least F. Okay, so the exact sequence tell you that uh, the, so you see that this is the image, right? So image is zero. So image of zero, so this map is zero, right? Zero map to zero. So image zero is zero, which is a kernel of F, right? So who tell you that F is injective? Okay, so, and then if you have the second case is that you get something which goes to zero, and then you just say this is F, uh, let's say maybe this E or something. So this is, so you get something uh, mapped to zero. So you see your image F, right, will be kernel of zero. So kernel of zero is whole D, right, it's whole D. So which you the F is surjective. Okay, and then there is a special case that uh, if you study the algebraic topology that people like to talk is that you have zero, A, B, and zero, F. And uh, this tell you that F is injective and the surjective, so F is isomorphism. Okay, so this is very common in use in the algebraic topology. If you want to compute the homology of the sphere, then you will use the Maya Victoria sequence. So yeah, I, I just write down some uh, keywords that if you're interested, should be Maya Victoria's uh, sequence. So if you, you if you learn about algebraic topology, then this this type of exact sequence are commonly seen. Yeah, so this is a, a stupid, stupid example. Okay, so should be very, uh, should be very trivial. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, and then this sequence are told, called left exact because this left is a zero and then this is called right exact if you, if you, so usually. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, usually this video should end here, but uh, I want to proof uh, to lemma, uh, then uh, we finish this video. And then we will uh, go to the short, uh, the short five lemma in the next video. Yeah, so I want to talk this lemma. So this lemma uh, 1.1 is called the uh, effect. Yeah, okay, so if you have a left exact. Okay, so now we are going to the, the, the true needs of the, the of the exact sequence. So, I should be a little bit difficult if you are the first time. Okay, so if you have a, a short exact, then the, we hope to prove that uh, then every homomorphism, suppose you have a homomorphism from, uh, from uh, let's say, a homomorphism such that uh, uh, your phi phi is zero. So, so this homomorphism should come from uh, should come from something to B. So let's see uh, if you have something M to B, you have this kind of homomorphism such that the least composition, right? This composition is zero. Then uh, you then you then you will factor through this. So there is this x uh, or chi. So I should uh, pronounce this chi uh, such that uh, this diagram uh, comes. Okay. Yeah. So basically, uh, or I draw again. Basically, it's this. But if you have this, if this commute, right? Then uh, then uh, there will be a chi. Chi here, such that uh, such that everything commute. Oh, so usual uh, idea in okay, so uh, it's called a diagram chasing. So let's prove. Uh, yeah, hopefully you prove it's trivial, right? So let's see. So from here that we know that image psi is uh in a kernel phi, right? And uh, I know that the kernel phi is uh image mu, right? By definition, since it's exact. Uh, so who are and now and also that I also know that uh, mu is injective. I by by since it's left exact. So who tell me that uh, who tell me that uh, there exists chi which is unique, right? Unique from M to A. So uh, I, I need to define a what, right? But but you see, uh, since mu mu is injective, right? So uh, let's see. Let's see how, how I say. Okay, so let's define. Okay, so that's such that. Uh, so I now I need to define kind, right? So I can define kind to be, uh, kind to be what, right? So I can define kind to be mu x on chi of x will be uh, psi of x for all x beyond n. Okay, so let's understand what what's talking talking about, right? So if if somebody gives you x here, 
right? And then you send it, send it down to side of X. And you'll try to, and you see that the, and you see that since there are zero, right? So their, their composition is zero. So that means your five X on side will be zero, right? Your five. So anything uh, which tend to be zero come from the left, right? So you can always find, find something here, something here which sent to this five, right? So I define these to be chi of X. Right, so which and then you since mu is injective, so chi must be unique. Yeah, so a proof of it uh, is that. Yeah, so just understand the just understand the, the detail. Okay. Okay, I want to talk the same lemma at one point. Okay, which are just converse. Suppose you have a right exact sequence. Let's say this is phi sigma. And uh you have every homomorphism of psi. If you have a homomorphism of psi, which uh, here, then you can find a uniquely chi factor. Okay, so proof is also uh, trivial. So that's so now we understand the, the proof, right? We understand key technique. So uh, we can easily do the proof. So proof idea should be easy, right? Because uh, uh, because you know that uh, it's still the same, right? You're you're uh, by the way, okay. By the way, you 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 need to you need to assume that psi x on phi will be zero, right? So if we tell you that uh. So from here, you know that uh, image of phi should less than, uh, should in the kernel, uh, image of phi, right? Image of phi is basically kernel sigma, right? It's due to exact. And, and by definition, your image of phi will be less than, will be uh, in the kernel, uh, the kernel side, right? Okay, so, uh, is it as it's uh then, then it's the same right because uh let's see so 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 once you have this then uh, you you want to define uh which uh oh, sorry uh yeah you want to define uh you want to define this map right so basically for each c you need to map this into uh into chi right so let's see so since since you you get image of phi equals kernel of sigma and the less than a uh, subset of kernel of Side, uh, kernel uh, kernel side right so okay so so let's see uh in, let's see if you have x here right or oh, big x here then you this is five x right but but definition your side map to five zero right so everything come from the uh yeah so everything uh, so on uh, this so you have you can create sigma uh five x here at, at C, right? And you need to, and then you need to define chi, uh, which is obviously that the, the way you define chi is to define a chi sigma five x will will always be a uh, will always be a uh, be a uh, uh, now you take uh, let's see maybe maybe let's let's do this. You need to define a, you need to define any any C right in uh, into M. So you see uh. So this this sigma is inject. Uh, this sigma is what? It's surjective, right? So you take any element x, then the, you can always find something that y, right? You can always find y belongs to b, such that the sigma y is x, right? And you just define a chi of x to be psi of y. Just 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 follow the diagram. Okay, and the uh, obviously, uh, this uh, this uh, is unique, right? The reason is that uh, uh, the reason is why 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 this is unique. So let's see uh, if you take x here, then you can find you you always can find y, right? So suppose you suppose you can find different two different y's, right? But but it's the same as if you find two different y's. If you find two different phi's, uh, which maps to Exactly the same. So, so let's see. So let's suppose you find two y such that y and y prime, such that uh, such that uh, their sigma y is the same. Then the, then then you know that the kernel sigma is in the kernel side, right? So which tell you that uh, which tell you that the uh, sigma y minus y prime. So no notice that sigma is homomorphism, right? Zero, right? So that means psi of uh, sigma y. Uh, tell you that the uh, psi of y minus y prime is zero, right? So psi of y will equal to psi of y prime, right? 
right? Since the kernel sigma is less than, it's a subset of kernel, kernel phi, the kernel side. So from this that uh, from this uh, discussion, yeah. Uh, by the way, I mean you usually do the exact sequence is a little bit difficult. You need to be logically correct. You need to uh, remember all the diagram tracing steps. So you see, uh, from this that you know the side y side of y prime, right? So from here that uh, this proof, uh, this proves that uh, this chi is unique because e even though you have different two y prime, y and y prime such that, that they're sigma, they're mapped to c is the same. You you still you still prove that, that their sign must be unique, right? Because side y will be side y prime. Yeah, so basically these two uh, universal properties tell you that uh, that sequence is uh, interesting. Okay, uh, let's talk about the next and uh, the rest we will talk in the uh, uh, next video. So show exactly, which is a commonly used sentence. Uh, this is called, called show exact. So anything only has three objects are called show exact. And uh, there is a thing called long exact. So long exact means that, uh, uh, which can be arbitrary long. Okay. okay, and uh, in the next video, uh, we will prove the uh, five lemma. So, which is a very, very difficult, a very, very commonly used one. It says that if you have A, B, C, somehow I, I still, uh, when I think, think from, from undergrad, I still feel happy that I learned something interesting. Yeah, so. So if you have this this diagram, uh, such that uh, uh, any two of them, so suppose your alpha and gamma are iso on isomorphism, then the beta will be. So basically, any two of them, if any two of them are isomorphism, then then third will be isomorphism. Yeah, this is a very very commonly used in a, in a, uh. And let's see, you really, really? Oh, oh, sorry. So let's, let's, yeah, so, so, yeah, so let's pr only prove that. Yeah, so I think only the first, only these two, if, if, if alpha, alpha and gamma are isomorphic, then, then beta will be. Yeah, so let's, so the, let's write down the, yeah, so if alpha and gamma is isomorphic, then, then beta will be. So if these two are isomorphic, then the middle one will be iso. Yeah, so the next time we will prove it. And then in a future video, we will prove the snake lemma. Uh, which is much more uh, powerful in the algebra uh, topology. Okay, uh, uh, I don't have other things to say. See you guys next videos.